everyone, welcome to Howie Nez Rolls. I am on my way to do some grocery shopping at Winco. But first, I want to show you a goal of mine. So this morning, I am looking in my pantry. I'm going to show you what we're doing. So I'm not going to lie. After we just had that earthquake, my wheels got spinning and I am often reminded of certain situations, mostly catastrophic, that I really need to keep my pantry stocked. Let me know in the comments if you are very similar. And as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we are highly encouraged to have about a year's worth of food. Now, a year's worth sounds like a lot, but I feel if you have your pantry stocked, and you can get some other things, which in the future I might show you some stuff. But um, get some meals, go some go-to meals in your pantry, and I feel like we're good. So every time I go grocery shopping, my biggest haul of the month, usually I go once a month, I'm going to spend about $20 and just buy the stuff to stock up our pantry. The, th the necessities, the things that I don't have planned in any meals. I just wanna keep everything stocked and easy to go to just in case. So let me show you my pantry. So here it is in its dreariness. <laughs> For as big as our house is, which is like almost 3,300 square feet, you would think our pantry would be bigger than literally a closet. My closet upstairs is bigger than this food closet. Ugh. Okay, so let me show you some of the contraptions that I have. So I have the a couple of these from Shelf Reliance. You could probably you can go to shelfreliance.com. These are the apartment um, food organizers. And so I want to make sure these are all stocked. I have a couple. So I want to make sure those are all stocked. So I'll try to do that. I have an, another empty bin that can go up there. Uh, we are getting close to some baking season, so I tend to make that my um, my chocolate chip bin. But I'll make some. I'll, I'll think about this a little bit more. And then I have some. You see those bigger bins on the bottom? They are full of beans and sugar and oatmeal. So let's see what I do to stock that up. And you can see I have a lot of emptiness right in there. So let's go. the blueprint of a store it's like comfort home to me because then I know exactly where to go so I only have a few stores that are like that and I just enjoy it I mean it's almost like a game to me to go grocery shopping let me know what you think Ezra is right now on a cereal kick which okay that just means I don't have to buy waffles so he was specific to getting Captain Crunch so all right, let's do that. Maybe they should make bigger carts. I'm not even done, you guys. Ay, ay, ay. Woo! It is a hot day. I have everything in the car to make sure the air conditioning, but we just have to work fast, right, to get everything in the freezer and the refrigerator. So let's start with the freezer foods. Um, I got two of these um, emergency pizzas. Kids like them. They asked for Red Baron. Boom, done. About three fifty dollars each. This time I got these mini nacho cheese, mini tacos that were chicken. It was about $3. I'm always trying to find new things that I think the boys will like. And that's just really chicken and cheese. So fingers crossed. What? How did this get in here? Guilty pleasure. Okay, I don't get them very often. I just get them when I go to Winko and not all the time. So. This will be in my freezer. I'll probably have a couple, but I am such a huge fan of pretzels and cheese. Let me know in the comments if that is what you like. I had to get some ice cream for Paul and the boys. They really do like the vanilla bean at Winco, and this was like five bucks. So the usuals, I got two of these. These are the orange chickens and two of these, which are the barbecue teriyaki. Delicious. They are very comparable to Trader Joe's and probably about the same price too. So five, 550 each bag. I also got, which I haven't gotten before, their beef and broccoli and I got their General Tao. So 
These will be first time. I only got one bag because I thought for Paul's lunches, he could just have that with some rice, easy go-to meals. Or if it's just me and him eating dinner or, you know, not very many of us, we could just bust one of these out. So totally easy, right? I also purchased some more whole strawberries. I don't know if you know, but I like making my own jam. It is super easy and I control how much uh, sugar goes into it, which makes this mama happy. And then I got four of these, uh, four of these for um, just for upcoming meals. I'm trying to stock up my freezer as well. So this is will be like go-to dinners. These are fairly thin, the breasts, so that they're easy to grill, which I appreciate. And I got a couple of these tater tots for meals or for casseroles. I do love a good tater tot casserole. And look, Paul, I found bell pepper and onion stir fry. So sometimes we just want to have some fajitas really quick or you know paul likes to have this with a lot of his uh meats boom there it is super happy should have looked in the freezer section before just some frozen carrots and some frozen broccoli just trying to stock up and um and i'll also use them in meals i wanted to show you what i got from their meat department they have such good selections of meat and look at that four dollars 42 cents and then another one little steaks for 4.91 that's awesome same thing okay so these ones are this one's pork garnita so they have a really really good flavor so what i might do is either have paul grill it or i might even throw that in the crock pot and make some tacos and then i'm just trying to stock up on some ground beef so that was this is the extra lean kind and it was under five bucks each so for a pound Got some bacon, then I got some breads, Grandma Sycamore, and then I decided I would try this with for Paul, just so he could have some bread if he felt like having a sandwich. I'm a fan of sourdough. And then we always get this Killer Dave. So that way I can just throw all of these into the freezer and then they can just get what they want. And then here is our veggies and fruit. So I did get some bell peppers and onions because I thought we could do some fresh fajitas, but then one of those bell peppers, the red one, is going with that cabbage, and we are making that yummy ramen again. That was delicious. I got some bag salad, I love these. And then just some stuff to snack on. Some apples, some gala apples, and um, which were 98 cents a pound. I thought that was a really good price. And then these, um, cucumbers and I think I have a zucchini somewhere too I'm pretty sure I got one this was 20 cents a pound so I thought that was a good price and then two bags of potatoes now I could have got the 10 pound bag for a little bit cheaper but it's had that smell remember I was telling you guys I always smell my pota my potatoes and if it just smells like a weird exhaust or something strange then I don't get them but the smaller bags we're totally fine, which tells me there is not something quite right with that smell. So I'm just following my intuition. So let me go ahead and put these things into the freezer or the refrigerator and we can continue. Ooh, we are getting about mostly done. So maybe more, a little more than half. So thanks for still sticking through here, through watching all of this. I actually am a huge fan of uh, watching other people's hauls because I love watching what their recommendations are and here's one I love this enchilada packet it has a really good flavor and the only thing you need to do is add tomato sauce and water but what I do to make it even a little extra special is when I'm boiling my chicken I will use the broth so usually I'm making like chicken enchiladas so I'll just put some of that water aside the broth and add it to this and it makes it even more delicious so just a little tip i had to get some more baking powder because right now i'm going to show you a lot of baking stuff so i got some i got a couple of these these were only a dollar fifty which i think is a great price because now we're getting into the fall where things are going to start going on big sale in the bakery departments so but if you just need something pretty quick winco is really good even walmart so 
You don't always have to wait for the sale. I got four of these because I have a recipe coming up and it is also that time of year and I'll explain more in the future videos. So I got a couple of these butters, best place honestly to get butter, Costco. So these were $3, like $2.98 and I got two. Um, but you can get them for like $8, I think, for like four of these. Good price, right? Okay, so I told you that Ezra wanted some um, some cereal, so I got him some Captain Crunch. Oh my gosh, I got the wrong kind. I think he wanted the ones with the berries. So you know what, if he doesn't use all of this, I can crunch it up and coat some chicken and make some Captain Crunch fried chicken. I don't usually make it during this, the year, but around Super Bowl, that's when we make a lot of it. But uh, if we have leftovers, I'm not gonna let this go to waste. So maybe we will have some sweet, crunchy Captain Crunch chicken in the future. Oh well, it's okay. I got just some regular applesauce. Um, I know um, Ezra is really likes those pouch, the squeezies ones but I wanted to see if he'd like these ones as well. So much cheaper. The boys wanted uh, some lasagna this week, so I thought I'd make it for lunch. I also got two of these Prego sauces. This one's our favorite. So that will go with the lasagna, I'm putting things away, and some honey. So I'm just trying to stock up on this because I do use it for another recipe that's coming up besides that ramen stir fry one that was so good i wanted to show you what i got for the pantry so i think i spent closer to 25 dollars. so next time i'll just do like 15 um, but i got 10 pounds of sugar and rice so i won't even really open those i'll just put them in the pantry on the bottom just so it can be um ready to go but i got all of these <laughs> cans to um fill up those little um those rolling bin kind of things um and I got some of that yummy tuna. And then this is where I probably, I didn't plan for this, but I don't always find this rice. So it's a very good go-to meal for us to have like corn and this. Um, it's a crock pot meal with some cream of chicken soup. It's delish. So yeah, that was probably about 20 to $25. Those cans were about 56 cents each. Um, these green chilies were like 80 cents. And this sweetened condensed milk was for desserts like $1.50 each. So that's a good price and my pantry will stock up really quick when I'm motivated for that. So I still have some more room that I could get some more cans to fill those up. I'll do that next time. But you can see over in this side, everything's mostly full and I even had some extra overflow. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> but that's okay because I'll just use those up first. I also have a rotisserie chicken. One of my favorite things to eat is just picked chicken, cut chicken with um, some uh, cheese and crackers. And remember I said I had that zucchini, yum Oh, So I'll try to make a stir fry with that this week myself. So, so good. Or maybe I'll even do some zucchini Parmesan bake. Or, hmm, what should I do with zucchini? So this one is my favorite detergent. It just has like a really nice smell, just a light smell. And then I got some of their uh, store brand cookies just for the kids. Probably me too, who am I kidding? We also, because Ezra liked these, we got them for when we went up to Utah for the hike and he is a fan. So I got one of these for, just for lunches or snacks or whatever. Some more crystal light. And then I got these flaky, the honey butter ones, because they make such great um, breakfast biscuits. You could just do like a couple of eggs with some cheese mixed together, line a biscuit pan, really so good. If you wanna even get extra special, throw some sausage or some cut bacon, Mwah! so good. Okay, so I got some Greek yogurt plain because I love making the bagels with the self-rising flour. It's equal parts, one cup of each makes four bagels. So it's high in protein too, friends. I got some milk for that cereal that Ezra's gonna like. I got some Kraft Singles in case, you know, they just want like a grilled cheese really fast. I do have the ground beef, so if we wanna make grill, um, cheeseburgers, we're ready to go. 
And then I got some different cheeses. I got some Parmesan cheese and I got some mozzarella for um, making uh, some of those lasagnas and also to make some pizzas. And I also got some of this Mexican cheese. This is one of my favorite cheeses to put with some corn tortillas. So good, so flavorful. Something about corn tortillas brings out a lot of flavor, especially Mexican cheeses and with avocado or guacamole. So good, am I right? Talking of corn tortillas, I got some more. <laughs> I also got some croutons for salads and then I got a couple of these pastas. Now remember, these are those rice stick pastas that we used in our other video with the stir fry. So I ended up getting two because this was, going this upside down, was so, so good. It doesn't say the directions on how to cook it, um, to heat them up, but it's only for like three minutes just to soften up the noodles, kind of like top ramen. So it is super easy to do. And then, this is the last thing I got for Ezra and the boys just to have for breakfast or so. Now, all of this, ah, I'm so tired. All of this costs $281 and I am feeling super good about that because did you see my cart? It was overflowing. So I feel so grateful that you've stopped by my channel today. Give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't done so. I'd love to have you along for the journey. And tell me some of your favorites. If, I, if I'm at Winco, what should I be picking up? You let me know. And stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye, everyone.